Game and walk in the morning. And welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Wind Waker. HD. That stands for hard dick. Alright. <laughs> Hi, Devin. I was about to ask what it meant while I said <laughs> what does that mean. <laughs> that Nope, you just said the same thing two times. I know, I was really going to ask what, what that meant, meant when I said what it meant. No, you said I was really going to ask what it meant when I asked what it meant. Dude, like, am I, I'm really that dumb because I don't even remember <laughs> saying that. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that's dumb. I think it's just the way that we record these. I think it's just me being dumb. Say the way around, too. What the fuck's up? Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? The fuck? Just no, that's gay, second. bro. What are you going to do? Put she, a fucking penis in my she's hand? She's going to put her hot vag in your hand. All righty, hand. then. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging. Oh, my God. She's giving us her vagina. We're it's her virginity. Her oh, it's okay. a bottle of scotch. Or tell us. <laughs> Letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? He he he. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at the. Do you see that face? The rock face? Yeah. I've I never do. noticed that. Zoom in on that shit. Okay. Are you looking at the red? I could. We're, uh, we're yeah, right go back down. The red post box. You missed it. Well, we wanted to look at the face. Oh, we looked at it though. Okay. Yes, I'm. What the fuck else? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. What else could I possibly be looking at right now? <laughs> I am. This dumb bitch. I've lost the red post box. I. Oh, because you already zoomed in, that's why. So I didn't count it. What the fuck? It says L to zoom on the screen. But, like, you didn't let you want to do want you to do that yet. The sky. Look up in the plane. The plane. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> they lock the camera and then they're like, move. Move. Miyamoto, what the fuck were you thinking? Whoa. Game design? Hey. What? Don't respect him. Just go. Miyamoto, I want you to just. Hashi Mishi Mishimoto. I want you to just tickle me. Hey, oh, okay. What? I don't think I'm ticklish. I don't think he uses hands anymore. What? I don't think Miyamoto has the ability, ability to use his hands anymore. Really? Yeah. Like, when he was old age before he died, I don't think he had the ability to use his hands. Miyamoto isn't dead. Then it's me when he's still alive, then. I don't think he has the ability to use his hands. That's why he doesn't do game design anymore. He still works at Nintendo. He can work there. Doesn't mean he just does, like... He he's like the Nintendo guy. He comes up with shit. Doesn't mean he does shit. I'm pretty sure it's Miyamoto. I, I remember someone, like, very popular... I made a bunch of games, like very like all time games. Doesn't have the ability to use his hands anymore. I just remember who it is. I I'm pretty sure it's Miyamoto. It I don't believe you. I don't think it's Miyamoto. My phone in. My phone in. My phone in. Do you know what's a very boring fucking movie that I thought was gonna be good? What? Ghost World. What the fuck is that? It's this film, uh this two girls who get out of high school mm -hmm. and they're like trying to I guess deal with it. Deal with being out of high school? This one girl is just being a cunt, and then she makes Steve Buscemi feel bad. Oh, not Steve. It was not... It got nominated for, like, best screenplay what when it came out fuck? in 2001. But it was not a good movie. 2001 was a hard year. 2001 was the year Shrek won the Oscars. That, exactly. <laughs> in the first... That's the year 9-11 happened as well, so well, I mean... Well, Shrek was worse. Oh, okay. This is um, a true fact. <laughs> is uh, it a true Shrek fact? Shrek did 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> That's always, like, conspiracy theories just blow my fucking mind. Do you have your favorites? I don't really have a favorite conspiracy theory. I don't really know many conspiracy theories, to be honest with you. Why do they blow your mind? Because it's such hard thinking you have to do and dedication to thinking just that one thing. Uh-huh. And, like, basically brainwashing yourself to believing that one thing. Yes. You know? Yeah. It's like a cult. But it's impressive, though. At the same time. A conspiracy theory is impressive? Yeah. That one person can think that hard about something and come up with something that makes sense, kind of. You know what I mean? Conspiracy theory kind of makes sense. Sometimes... A lot of the times... Oh my they, god, this could go even farther down, dude. 
A lot of the times, conspiracy theories just sound like complete utter bullshit. Yeah, a hundred. Like, most of the time they do, but sometimes they say some shit, and you're like, huh? You know what? I don't disagree with that completely. And you kind of like, that kind of makes sense, you know? You never uh, had that yeah. happen before? No. <laughs> the only conspiracy theory, I don't even know if it's a conspiracy theory, it's just like a cover-up. There was like footage on an airplane, like a fighter pilot, and something appeared in the sky, and it like moved str like at 90 degree angles and faster than anything has ever moved before recorded on like... A th on a plane and so everyone's like oh that's aliens and the fighter pilot was like what the fuck was that and they're like don't ask questions was how's the fighter pilot recording there's a like dash cam okay I didn't know he was recording like a, like a cell phone he, <laughs> he like, had his GoPro he was gonna start surfing outside of the yeah, plane yeah like how the fuck is he recording this thing about it though if something like that were to happen it would blow up on the internet so quickly it did it was a thing that happened but like it would be like legitimately researched. Imagine being on a wood and rope built bridge, <laughs> possibly a hundred feet in the air, and there is a gap in the middle, and you must jump across it. It sounds fucking terrifying. That is the scariest shit in the world. When we were at Disney World, and we were above those crocodiles mm -hmm. on those like rope bridges, even that was it could be a tad scary. Were you scared though during that? I didn't. I wasn't scared. Or was I scared during that? I wasn't scared. I had done it before though. I think I, think I was you okay were too. Scared. You were scared because I was. You thought I was gonna shake it. Was I? I think so. I don't really remember to be honest with you. I kind of blocked out that trip. <laughs> I feel like it's bad that many of our friendship defining moments are also memories that we've tried to block out. Yeah, that's probably why I don't remember a lot of things we do. <laughs> I think it has resulted in the way that we do this show. I don't agree with that. Being completely us just trying to... So for those... We've never really talked about this. Whenever we finish an episode or like a big session of Caden Walkings, me and Walkings are like, that was a good episode. And then I'll, I'll go into the editing chair and fucking... I will be listening to us, and I'll be like, "When? The, why the fuck did we say that? I guess, I guess it's there now. Like, we just, we straight up, 100% do not remember the things we say on this show. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, it's weird, because, like, I, me I, like, I don't remember this whole conversation. Like, I don't remember the fuck we talked about when we played Hollow Knight. Honest to God, the only thing I remember talking about was the Tigers. Me, yeah, I was just about to say that. And the girls. Uh, the girls I remember vaguely, but most most of Hollow Knight I already don't remember talking about. Aside from the fact that we were both like, "This is good shit." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, when we play like other shit, like um, when we made all the Spider Mans, I don't remember. I don't remember anything from Spider Man. Oh God, no, I don't remember anything. Miss Miss Terra, who the fuck are you? Tantra. Oh, thank. Oh, I like thank, his little dancey Thank head. goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this, why the fuck you make him goofy? Summit, I thought you'd for <laughs> sure. I don't know. Summit. You know what picture I've never like? I never understood. What? You know what picture I've never understood? The one where Mickey Mouse gets c catches Mickey. Okay, no, it's the one where Goofy's walking. Um, oh, fucking what's his name? Pluto. Pluto. Yeah. Like we'll just stand there. Let's go. It's that that picture's picture always like made me fun. uncomfortable. Yeah, cause Goofy's a dog. Why does Goofy also the one who wears all the clothes? Yeah, he's the dumber one. Goofy, like, arguably Pluto is smarter than Goofy. And but like just from an objective perspective, why is Goofy the cartoon character that wears all of the clothes? Cartoon character. He even wears shoes and a hat. When like Mickey Mouse don't got a shirt on. Donald Duck is going full Winnie the Pooh, only wearing a shirt. Fucking Bugs Bunny only wears gloves for some reason. Imagine getting up in the morning and only putting on gloves. <laughs> <laughs> what life? Well, Donald Duck wears a gloves and a shirt. Donald Duck does not have gloves. What? 
Donald Duck doesn't have gloves. Mickey Mouse has gloves. Donald Duck doesn't have gloves? No, he has his stupid duck hands. You're right. I swear he wears gloves, though. Donald Duck does not wear... Goofy wears gloves. Pete wears gloves. Who is Pete? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Pete? <laughs> Pete is that nemesis to Goofy. Oh, yeah, you're what? right. You the big dude, right? He's, like, fucking huge. Ship. That, that, that motherfucker scared me as a child. Pete? Mm-hmm. Why? He was so big and menacing. Did you watch Goof Troop? No. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates like Billie Eilish. Her middle name is Pirate. Did you like know that shit? It's like a pirate, and it makes my fucking libido hard. That's pretty cool. Middle name's Pirate. They, she's white, though. So they probably now like pronounce it as Pirat. Pirate. Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! There, just who? I don't remember Goofy's voice. Apparently, <laughs> where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? That's the end of the episode. We're gonna continue this dialogue next time on the show. Goodbye, everybody.